A young woman in Carbon County isn't letting a life altering car accident stop her from seeking her dreams to stand out. 27 year old Danielle DeAngelis was left paralyzed after that crash seven years ago. This weekend she was crowned Miss Wheelchair Pennsylvania and Newswatch 16's Peggy Lee spoke with her tonight. As a college student in 2011, Danielle DeAngelis had dreams for her future. But nearly eight years ago, a life-altering crash on Route 903 changed all that, leaving the now 27-year-old paralyzed from the hips down. I was going towards Albrightsville, okay. and there's this dip there, and um, it was full of ice, and I slid on ice, and my car flipped, and... I was paralyzed on impact. DeAngelis, who lives outside Jim Thorpe, admitted she struggled with depression afterwards. But after learning about a contest called the Miss Wheelchair Pennsylvania, she entered and won the crown in Erie this weekend. Along with her duties as the state's crown holder, she's making a personal effort to find funding so more businesses buy ramps and become ADA compliant, including in Jim Thorpe's downtown. I would really love to make help make businesses more accessible, so I would really love to get in contact with my state legislators and representatives to see if we could figure out a way to, to donate or grants. The Americans with Disabilities Act was signed into law in 1990, but not everyone has to be in compliance. Exempt are private clubs, religious organizations, and companies with 15 employees or less. As she fights for her cause, DeAngelis will serve as the state's wheelchair queen for the year and also plans to compete for the national title Miss Wheelchair America this summer. This is like opening doors and her life is beginning now after being here with this situation for seven years now. I mean, this is a big stepping stone, and now I could see her life is going to take off. According to the head of the National Miss Wheelchair Organization, there are tax incentives for businesses which become ADA compliant. Peggy Lee, Newswatch 16, Carbon County.